Hello, friends of chemistry. In this video, we're doing uh, practice problem number five in module 13. Marshall, will you please read it to us? Suppose you synthesized ammonia with the following reaction. 2NO2, well, it's on the board at the top. Read it, please. 2NO2 gas plus 7H2 <coughs> gas yields 2NH3 gas plus 4H2O gas. How much energy will be released if 35.0 grams of NH3 are formed? Okay, so the standard enthalpy of formation, excuse me, the standard change in enthalpy will be the summation of the uh, enthalpy of formation of the products minus the summation of the enthalpy of, enthalpy of formation of the reactants, right? Yep. Okay, so we can use Hess's law because these, we have the state of all of these, right? Yep. So what is the NO2? Uh, let's start with the products, actually. Let's write out the products. NH3 gas, what do we got there? Uh, that's negative 45.9. Negative 45.9 kilojoules per mole. Plus, uh, what's H2O? We have four moles of that. Uh, H2O gas is negative 242. We have 242 kilojoules per mole. Minus the enthalpy, the summation of the enthalpy of formation of the reactants. NO2 is 33.2. 33.2. Since hydrogen is in its and hydrogen natural is the elemental form, form so, so. fiddle. All right, so um, so we have negative ninety one point eight plus negative nine hundred sixty eight. Minus 66.4. So negative 1,126.2. Um, how precise should I be here? Um, this one's only precise to the ones place, so that's where I should be. So yeah, yeah. cross that out, negative 1,126 uh, kilojoules. OK, that doesn't answer my full question, though, because now I want to know how much energy will be released if 35.0 grams of NH3 are formed. So my uh, kilojoules here is negative. That means that it's a product in the reaction, right? So I can yep. put it over here, plus 1,126 kilojoules. So yeah. if I have 35.0 grams of, of NH3, NH3, how many moles do I have? Uh, so what's one, the N? What's, one what's mole. Is it? That's one mole. Are you sure? Oh no, we have two of those. What's the molecular weight? Can you tell me, please? The molecular weight. Yeah, we have is... to figure out how. To... No, no, I wasn't being like, oh, I was just saying the molecular weight is uh, fourteen point zero for N. And O is 16.0. So what? Oh, N. Oh, H. No, it's H N H3. Is... H. Yeah, 3 times 1.01, 1. 1, which is 3. So it's 17.0 grams per mole. Um, so we've got 35.0 grams yeah. times 1 mole per 17.0 grams.
So how many moles is that? It's close to two. It's a little more than two, right? Yeah. What is it? We have to know. Um, we have to know so that we can find out how much right, energy okay. for how much well, moles what, we what, have. What, this. What All this. Right. This is what you're Divide. calculating. Divided by... 17. 17 is a little more than 2. You can have three five, significant digits. 9. So 2.06 moles. Okay. Okay. So for every 2 moles of NH3, I have 1,126 kilojoules, right? Yep. So here I have 2.6 moles times 1,106. Per two, six. whatever, for two moles. So I'm multiplying this and dividing this. Do this math. Okay. You can multiply it by 563. 2.06. Uh, 1,159.78. Okay, so let's see. That was four. That's three. Um, I think I want to have three significant digits here. So I'm going to say one, one, six, zero. Uh, kilojoules. Okay? So for 35.0 grams of ammonia, when when 35.0 grams of ammonia are made, there's 1,160 kilojoules. Okay. okay? So that is it for number five. Thank you, friends of chemistry.